Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer, Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Appreciate you tuning in. It's one of those days. It's Friday. Hang in there with us. Um, today we're going to bring you a used trailer, a stock combo. We usually don't get these in very often, but every once in a while we do, and they don't last long. So definitely do not wait very long if you're interested in something like this. This is a 2018 Four Star. This is a 20-foot stock combo. I actually just stumbled across a new uh, 21 online this morning. That's about 37,000. So there's definitely a lot of savings here. This is a lightly used trailer. It's in really good shape. Um, we're never going to paint you the picture of it's a new trailer because it's not. It is used. Um, but with that being said, what we do at Trans West here is we put it through our shop when we get it in. So this one came in on trade. Uh, we do buy trailers as well. So if you have one sitting around you want to turn it into cash, let us know and we can help you out there as well. When we bring in these used trailers, there's a couple things we do to them. Very first thing is we look at tires. So this trailer came in, had mismatched tires. So we don't want that. They were all within date based on the DOT code on the sidewall of the tires. But we want them to all be matching. We want them to be all the same brand, same size, you know, same tread, everything we possibly can. So this one here has a brand new set of four tires on it. The next thing we'll do is we'll take it to the acid wash to clean it up. So that part's been done as well. And then we put it through our shop. So we have an alignment machine that we put all these used trailers on, make sure they're running down the road straight, you know, no odd tire wear. Um, we, that is a common thing that we see on some used trailers, especially people that have been having tire issues. Uh, you know, more than likely it's just maybe, it's one or two things usually. It's either an alignment issue or we don't have proper tires underneath the, the trailer itself for the size and ply that we need. So we'll go ahead and align every one of these trailers and then our guys go through. I mean, everything safety is automatic. So, you know, your brakes, any of your marker lights, turn signals, um, and then also breakaway battery on this type of a trailer here. But we go through these trailers as best we can to make sure they're road ready for you and for you to just go down the road, not have to worry about any repairs right off the bat. So that being said, let's take a look at this trailer. Again, it's a 2018, it's a 20 foot on the floor, stock combo. It's just got a, a manual single leg hand crank jack. Now in this tack room, this is actually a slant wall trailer. So this tack room is a little roomy. I mean, it, it's, it's a three foot short wall. Um, but as you can see, they've done a couple things to this. One of the very first things is a couple brush trays on the door. Kind of seems like you can never have enough of those. I mean, you know, whether it's uh, brushes or fly spray bottles, anything like that, that's a good area right there to store those on. And on this one, you've got a, a couple of them. And as you're looking at that short wall headed into that tack room, you'll notice on the right, a four tier blanket tree rack. And then next to it is four saddle racks. Now those are on, those are, those are fixed on the wall there. So those are non-adjustable. Um, we can't remove them, but tucked around the corner of the door is a three tier saddle rack as well. So you've got the capability here to, to haul seven saddles on this. You know, this is something that you wouldn't normally see on a trailer this size um, from an inventory standpoint. Uh, I'm thinking that more than likely this was probably a custom order when it was first built, um, just because of this setup right here. Carpeted on the partition wall with plenty of hooks there. Two windows in the neck. I like windows in the neck of these of these goosenecks in these front tack rooms because if you know you always have the potential to maybe throw a mattress up there, a bedroll, a couple sleeping bags. Um, but you can see out, but you can also create a cross breeze through the trailer, kind of keeping yourself nice and cool, um, keeping fresh air in the trailer. And then up off the ceiling towards the passenger side is a clothes rod that almost goes almost the full length of the gooseneck. It actually kind of extends over the gooseneck drop wall a little bit, uh, but then extends up into the neck quite a ways. And then there's a couple LED lights in here as well for you.
You also have a load light right above the tack. Those pedestal lights, you know, you can actually kind of rotate them a little bit. So if you're coming over here to tack up, you can actually turn that a little bit to face this direction. There's two 7,000 pound axles on this trailer. Aluminum wheels. Like I mentioned, brand new set of tires. Uh, again, I mean, it is, it is kind of a, a good way to tell if a trailer's out of alignment if we have, you know, one tire that's wearing extremely odd. Uh, more than likely, you could go to the other side of the trailer and notice that that one might have a little bit of wear as well. Uh, because it's on the same axle, if we have something out of alignment, it could be causing, probably one's going to be a little bit more noticeable than the other one. Um, but that is something that we try to keep an eye on. And again, we realign every single one of these trailers. They're no different than passenger vehicles. On these rough roads, they can get out of alignment. You've got some hooks here. And then for your two rows of air gap here, you have plexiglass inserts. So those can be removed. There's just a plate here at the back that you can unscrew and then slide those out and then reattach that plate there so you don't lose it. This has rear 50-50 gates. They are independent, so you, can, you can't open one or the other. Um, the other thing is, is this is all, all uh, you know, rubber mat here in the stall area. On the back doors, hip wall, head side, and even on the partition wall. This is standard width, standard height. So this is seven foot wide, seven foot tall. You've got a couple roof vents. You know, there are a couple dings in the roof. They're going out, they're not coming in. Um, so that was caused in the stall area here, whether it was a horse rearing his head up, something along those lines. Um, you know, we're not noticing anything protruding in that would normally be uh, hail damage. So we're not seeing anything like that in this trailer, but there are a couple dings here in the stall area. And then you've got some LED lights as well. You've got this butt strap that goes across, it's padded. And then you've got a center cut gate. Now it's going to be set on a slant to match the slant of the partition wall as well. Nice safety feature is the slam latch. I'm a big fan of slam latches from a safety standpoint. I mean, obviously in these stock combos, we're hauling horses, we're hauling livestock, you can haul some toys. Um, but as you're loading into that first stall there, and you're getting them crammed in there, you can literally just walk up and slam that gate. Your rear gates aren't gonna have uh, an actual slam on them. They're gonna be the big cam latches. But again, these stock combos are so versatile because we can do so many things with them. Um, you know, some customers want rear ramps. We can add rear ramps to trailers after the fact, uh, whether it's you're loading those toys or you got a horse that's just has to have that ramp. You also have a load light over the back as well. Again, one of those pedestal lights, so you can kind of rotate it if you want. On driver's side and those rear gates, they all have plexiglass all the way around, so you have that completely around the trailer. And then you also have an escape door. And one of the other cool things is, is you've got this chest bar that goes across that opening. Uh, so if you need to hop in there and you have something loaded, they're not gonna try to hop out on you. Again, matte even on the escape door. And then again, that plexiglass. So again, a really well uh, thought out trailer. Again, I'm, I'm leaning towards more than likely this was a custom order, uh, especially with all the kick mats in the, the stall area and then the way that tack room set up. So if you have any interest in this, again, these stock combos don't last very long. Go out there and price the new ones and you're gonna be uh, pleasantly surprised as where this one's priced at. So again, it's a 2018 four-star, 20-foot stock combo. Stock number is 5U211096. So if you're interested in it, we have new combos coming in Cimarron and Logan. And then obviously we take trades and we buy trailers. So get a hold of us if you're looking to upgrade. Uh, again, let's try this. I'm CJ with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I butchered that at the beginning. But give us a uh, call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.